Greensburg, Pennsylvania, a mentally disabled woman was forced to eat detergent and urine and to write her own suicide note before. She was stabbed to death and dumped in a school parking lot. Police said today. Six suspects are in custody. Including some people she had apparently called her friends. The head of 30-year-old Jennifer Doherty had been shaved, and she had been bound with Christmas decorations and clothing. She also was hit with a towel rack, vacuum cleaner hose, and a crutch, according to an affidavit. Her face was painted with nail polish, and she was fed vegetable oil, spices, and medications in addition to soap and urine, police said. She was exploited, and her kindness and her handicap made her very vulnerable, Doherty's sister, Joy Burkholder, said. She trusted everybody. She believed everyone was good, and no one would hurt her. Six people were charged with criminal homicide, kidnapping and related charges in the death of Doherty, who was missing since Monday and whose body was found Thursday at Greensburg Salem Middle School, about 30 miles east of Pittsburgh. Charged were Robert Loren Masters Jr., 36, Ricky Smearns, 23, Melvin Knight, 20, Amber Meidinger, 20, and a 17-year-old, all of Greensburg, and Peggy Darlene Miller, 27, of Mount Pleasant Township. All were being held without bond in the Westmoreland County Prison. It was not clear whether they had attorneys. Authorities said Doherty willingly went to the apartment where she was killed but they wouldn't discuss a motive or details on how the visit turned deadly. Authorities said they found the victim's belongings in the building's attic. As well as items that had been used to clean up blood. She was at the wrong place, at the wrong time, stumbled in a bad situation, said Greensburg Police Chief Walter Lyons. The Westmoreland County Coroner's Office said Doherty had been stabbed multiple times in the neck, chest and head. Coroner Kenneth Bacha said he didn't know what weapon was used. Stepfather Bobby Murphy, 62, of Mount Pleasant, told the Associated Press that the victim had the mental abilities of a 12 to 14 year old. Murphy said he was the last family member to see Doherty alive on Monday when he took her to get on a bus to Greensburg. She had a dentist there, as well as a counselor there who helped her with a mental disability, he said. Murphy said that he's not sure which one Doherty had an appointment with, but that later that day. She called home and asked permission to spend the night at Peggy's house. Murphy said his stepdaughter planned to return home Tuesday. Doherty had become involved in a community center in Greensburg where she met several people whose names she mentioned as friends. Murphy said, including several whose first names share those of some of the suspects. I don't know them personally but Jennifer mentioned some of their names as being her friends, but evidently not, he said. According to an affidavit of probable cause. Knight admitted stabbing Doherty in the chest, side and neck, and he and Smyrns carried her body to the parking lot. All six defendants admitted their involvement and implicated others, according to police. A neighbor in a first-floor apartment reported hearing a tussle upstairs and a heavy bam as though a body fell causing the ceiling to shake before it went quiet on Wednesday night, the affidavit said. Another resident of that apartment said Smyrns and two women came to their apartment afterward, and the man asked them to turn their television down, saying his girlfriend was lying down with a headache, the affidavit said. A man found Doherty's body Thursday morning when he saw the plastic garbage come partially beneath his truck. Police said they had responded to disturbances at the apartment before but mostly for reports of loud music or other minor incidents. The victim's family moved to Mount Pleasant from Mesquite, Texas, about two years ago to be closer to Murphy's mother-in-law, who is ill, Murphy said. Burkholder described her sister as kind and said she liked scary movies, wrestling, and college football. One thing I can tell you is there is no reason for them to do what they did to Jennifer, Murphy said. Jennifer was just a gentle, laid-back person. There wasn't a mean bone in her body, 